Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. So today I want to talk about how we can configure the calendar control in Dynamics 365 for field service of mobile. So previously we didn't have the ability to add or remove any fields from that particular control, but with 2021 release wave two, we can now actually do this. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what the options are for configuration and how to do that. So let me first show you what this configuration is about. As you can see, I've opened Field Service Mobile here in my browser window, and we are currently looking at our bookings, to be specific, my bookings, and then I'm showing you that calendar control that comes with Field Service Mobile. So you can see there's a couple of fields on there already. I can see my service account. I can see my primary incident type. I can see the address of the service account. And I can also see the status on there as well. But this was really all that that was, right? We weren't able to add any fields to this control. This was it. And we just had to live with that. So now with 2021 release wave two, we're actually now going to have the ability to configure and to add certain fields to this calendar control. Now, unfortunately, this configuration cannot be done from the new maker experience yet, which means that we're gonna have to use the legacy experience. So you can get to that obviously by clicking on this gear icon and then going to advanced settings that will take you to this area, right? Where you will have to go to customizations and then you can click on customize the system in order to get to the default solution. I've already opened that and I'm actually going to scroll down or zoom in, I should say, a little bit. So from here, you're going to expand the entities and then you're gonna search for the bookable resource booking table. And then what you wanna do here is, first you wanna define the fields that you wanna to add to that calendar control. And then you have to add those fields or columns to the view in Dynamics 365 for bookable resource bookings. Now you saw earlier, I actually am using the My Bookings view. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. And what I've done here is I actually added the work order number from, as you can see, let me make this a little bit bigger here, from the work order, the work order type, also from the work order, and then I added a field also from the bookable resource booking, which is that booking method, right? So again, that's coming from the bookable resource booking table. So then you want to go ahead and save that. And then obviously you need to publish that as well. As soon as you've done that, you can now click on that table or on that entity, whatever you would like to call it. And here you can see the tabs that says general primary field and controls. So we're going to go to controls and then this is that booking calendar control. So if you scroll down a little bit, you can see that now we actually have the ability to change that primary custom field and that's that primary incident type. Let me actually go back here to this calendar control and you can see that's what this represents, right? So you can see this is bolded a little bit, but if you wanted to change that to something else, you can do that by just clicking here on this edit button. Then we can configure three additional fields to be visible on that calendar control. So you can click on edit right over here. And this is where you're going to enter that information. Now, if this is a field that is actually on this bookable resource booking table, 
all you have to do is just put in that system name and then you can just click OK. So the next field I'm going to add is the work order type and that's actually a field from the work order table. So what you need to do if you're actually wanting to expose a field from a different table, you first have to enter that table name. So in my case, that is MSDYN work order. That's the table. Then you're going to put in a dot and then you're going to put in the actual system field name. So in my case, that's MSDYN underscore work order type and that's what that looks like so msdyn underscore work order that's the table then a dot and then the system field name so i'm going to say okay over here and lastly i'm going to put in the work order number so again i'm going to enter that table name and then a dot and then the actual name of that field now the other thing that you can do here is you can add labels to these fields. If we flip back into field service mobile, then you can see there's no labels here, right? So if that's something that you wanted to add, we can do that as well. So let's say for custom field number three, that's my work order number. I actually want to put in there work order and then the number sign i'm going to say okay and that is it so again you can also do this for the primary custom field label which is that primary incident type from the work order and obviously for those other two fields as well i'm just going to leave it like this you got to make sure that you save this and then obviously you need to publish those changes as well So now let's go back here to the mobile application and I'm going to give it a hard refresh here. And let me go to tomorrow's date because that fits all that information a little bit better. So now you can see right those additional fields that were added. We can see here the scheduling method was a schedule board. We can see here the work order type, which is that preventative maintenance. And then lastly, we have the work order number. And then we also see the label that we added as well. Thanks so much for watching this video. And if you enjoy the content, please don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Take care, everybody.